Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it come all the way in, all the way out. Try to stay right here throughout the entire length of the breath, in and out. Try to breathe in a way that's comfortable, so that it's a good place to stay. The mind is so used to jumping around. It tastes a little something here and says, well, what's over there? What's over there? What's over there? It just keeps on going, going, going. And it finds some pleasure in going, but it never gets a chance to really rest. So there's a chance to settle down. You're with your breath. At the moment, there's nothing else you have to think about, nowhere else you have to go. If you can breathe in a way that's comfortable, then it's, it'll be a good place to stay. But you do have to fight the mind's tendency to keep running off. Because it's used to the fact that every pleasure is going to end, and then when it ends you have to jump off and find another one. But here we're going to create a pleasure that lasts for a long period, so it doesn't have to jump. A lot of our pleasure in life comes from the jumping around, we think. So at first the mind is going to resist. It's going to squiggle and squirm the same way with the dog. You tell the dog to stay, and the dog may stay in one position. It's not that difficult a position, but the fact that it has to stay makes it uncomfortable. So it's not just telling yourself you have to stay, but make it, try to make yourself want to stay. Think of the breath of not just the air coming in and out of the lungs, but the energy flow throughout the body. And how is the energy flow in your body? Can you tell? Where do you feel a sense of blockage, a sense of tightness? Well, relax that, and things will flow more easily. It's only when the mind gets to settle down and really stay in one position that it can see anything clearly. It's like looking at a tree. If you run past the tree and then someone asks you, okay, what was in the tree? You may have caught a few things out of the corner of your eye. But the fact that you're running meant that you didn't, couldn't see anything clearly. But if you stand still and look at the tree for a while, you begin to see things you wouldn't have seen otherwise. And it's the same with your mind. You want to understand your mind because your mind is what shapes your life. But all too often the intentions that drive your decisions are underground. Even you don't know them, much less anybody else knowing them. And so you don't even know your own intentions. But what have you got? What position are you in? You're in a bad position. So if you want to understand your mind, you've got to stay still right here and watch. And the breath gives you a good place to stay. That way you can understand what's going on in your mind, and you can exert some more control over your thoughts, over your decisions, so that they really do go in the direction you want them to. But first it requires that you get used to staying put still for long periods of time. And that's when things will open up. So work on this skill of wanting to stay and not looking for your pleasure and jumping around, but looking for your pleasure and staying. It's like a person who knows he's going to have to live in a house for a long period of time. Well, put more effort into making it a good house to live in. If you think, well, I'm just here for one night, I'm off someplace else, then you don't put any effort in at all. But if you know that I'm going to be here for a while, I'll make it a good place to be. By the way you think, by the way you think, by the way you breathe, by the way you let the breath spread through the body, you make this a really good place to stay. <laughs>